uh, absorb game one and get ready for game two? Oh well, yeah, obviously uh, we didn't play, uh, in our mind, we didn't play anywhere near what we uh, feel uh, is the recipe for success to, to win games. So we're, we're excited for today. Obviously you get to, to play in a back-to-back uh, is best case scenario for us to get back at it and and, uh, and uh, try and get a win tonight. How big a deal do you think it is for Gilead to go against the team? Oh, I think it's uh, any time. I, I know uh, for me, I've been there before too. When you play your old team, it's a... Uh, you know, it's a game you get up for. It's really easy to get up for, for sure. And uh, for him, I'm, I'm sure if getting in his first one and being against his old team, it's uh, it's going to be uh, pretty cool. What stands out to you about Ilya? Well, I think both him and Murr, uh, just their work ethic uh, all throughout, you know, the summer end camp and, and uh, um, just real real presence. in their, They both have that presence in the net. They're big guys. Uh, they cover a lot of the net. And... Um, have been great for us so far. So uh, just want to play play well in front of them and give them the best shot at seeing pucks. What areas in the game do you think are most important to address from last night to tonight's game? I just think we 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 could do a way better job of managing obviously situations and managing the puck. I think um, we know you know we know we we went over it. Watching, watching the tape, it's pretty obvious when we're successful in shifts that we're successful and when we're, we're not. So um, I think it's, it's a lot of different things, but most importantly, managing uh, time and score and, and the puck and all those little things that, that help you win. You're rather new here still, um, but this team for the last, I don't know how many years now, has had a habit of sort of playing to the level of their opponent. Uh, how important is it that you guys establish who you are and be who you are rather than sort of play to the level of the team that you're playing? Yeah, I think I think we have to, uh, first off, just get to our game uh, early in games and and, and uh, establish that. I think um, it doesn't matter who's on the other other side of the rink. Every team in this league has, a, has the players and, and are capable of beating anyone. I think uh, the depth on teams are, in our league is incredible now, so... We have to establish our game. Um, I think when when you get into trouble is is when you're turning pucks over, you're you're not managing time and scoring and, and things like that. And uh, we know we can do a better job at that. Why do you think it was a little off last night? Is it just a first game kind of thing, or like, how do you describe it? Um, really, there's no real explanation. I think uh, we just have to have a, a way better mindset when it comes to certain situations when you know you're not going to be able to make plays or, or you know, different times in the game when there's going to be momentum swings, you got to manage that way better than we did last night. I think uh, it speaks, speaks to our team. I think we have a, a really good team, and, and it speaks to that, that we are still in a, in a position to, to get that, that game to overtime yesterday when we didn't feel like we were anywhere close to as good as we could be. How much challenge does Washington and Ovechkin obviously present to you guys, especially they lost last night too, they're going to be in a sour mood? Yeah, I, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, speaking of Ovi, right, right off the hop, he's, he's a guy who can put the puck in the net uh, in a lot of different ways. Uh, um, but I think a lot of the same. I think you can't, you can't turn over the puck and feed transition against this team. Um, but like you said, there's... There are two teams right now that aren't feeling too great about their first game, and uh, you know you're going to see obviously some desperation in both both teams, and it'll be a good game. How much did it mean to have uh, John sit up for the opener last night, considering it was looking a little dicey there at the end of the training camp? Yeah, really happy to have him back. I think obviously uh, plays such a huge role on our team. Uh, you know, obviously off the ice, but on the ice. Uh, uh, more importantly, on the ice, he's, he's just that presence for us. So to have him in that lineup, it, it's big. What do you think it will be for you tonight, first home opener as a Toronto kid? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it'll be a lot like when I when I was traded here last year. I, you know, you get those butterflies. It's pretty cool. So um, looking forward to it. It's uh, Every year, you know, it's 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 special. The home opener, no matter where you are, it's it's. Can you uh, absorb last night and get ready for the night? Uh, I mean, I think looking at it, I think 
puck management, I think, is the best, uh, or the biggest thing we have to improve on. I think a couple of plays, uh, I mean, throughout the entire game where we were, uh, yeah, not matching the puck very well, and that should be one of our uh, strongest, uh, strongest assets. Strongest assets. What well, do you think it was a little off last night? It was just the first game type of thing, finding your feet, or what was your sense? Uh, yeah, maybe first game, a little bit of that. Um, but I think we're lucky to get back at it here uh, tonight again, so uh, we could uh, redeem ourselves. What kind of challenge did Capri present? Yeah, obviously uh, a good team, and I mean a lot of uh, players that have been around for a while. So um, I think it'll be a tough game today, and a great way for us to uh, to answer. How big a deal do you think it is for Ilya to go up against a little team tonight? Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I mean, I, he has a lot of uh, buddies on that team, so I think it'll be a it'll be a fun game for him. Can you pick his brain about those guys? Does he have any insight? Uh, no, I haven't really asked him about that. What stands out to you about him as, as a goalie, Ilya? Yeah, just his calmness and, uh, I mean, he's such a nice guy off the ice. Uh, but, yeah, his calmness and obviously his size, too. So you just say you have kind of a tie to Washington with your dad and that, playing there? Yeah, of course. A yeah, I've been, I uh, grew up there a little bit. And, I mean, no Backstrom, uh, pretty or a decent uh, amount. And, I mean, so that's the little ties I have there. As his line mate, how important was it for the team and for yourself to see John suit up last night? Yeah, it was huge. I mean, he came in and uh, had a couple of nice plays, uh, scored to some goals. So it was nice to see him back and uh, getting back in the rhythm. What's the whole opener like for you? What's this night to play in? Uh, it's obviously very special. I mean, it's getting out there to the to the fans buzzing is uh, is very special. Can't really describe it. Have you seen? Uh, I guess Rodion and Europe has been around the team this month. What was it like to see him? If you've seen him, seen him at all? Yeah, no, I saw him. Uh, he seems. Uh, he seems positive and happy and always bringing a smile to everybody else in the room. So it's, uh, it's nice to have him here. What do you think it meant to get Dennis on the board, uh, his first as a Leaf in that first game, and get clicking for you guys at the line? Yeah, it just shows, I mean, his preseason was, uh, was on fire, so that it carried into the regular season is positive, and that obviously helps build uh, confidence going in. Still going back on the horse after losing the first of the back-to-back. -back. How much more motivation, though, tonight, given it's the home opener? Yeah, lots. I mean, combination of what you're saying, be able to play here at our building with our fans, and the fact that we've got a sour taste in our mouth from how we performed last night. How did you approach it with the team uh, after the game? Is it something that's unsaid, or do you have to craft the whip early in the season? There was a lot said. What's your sense of how they responded? Well, we'll find out tonight. Are, are you anticipating any sort of changes within the group of 20 players that you've today? No, no changes, just, just in our... And our mindset and our execution. How big a deal do you think it is to Ilya to go up and have a good showing against his other team tonight? I mean, regardless of who we're playing, I mean, obviously that that adds a little extra element to it. But it's his, it's his first game, and I'm sure he would want to put on a good performance. But he's just got to focus on the things that he's been doing through camp and preseason that have set him up for success. I think he's played well. Um, he's excited to play. Just go out and, and do his thing, and then. We've got to we've got to do our part in front of them. That's that's the big thing uh, that we're, will remain our focus. That's you know like some of the chances we gave up last night. That's that's making life real hard. And you're asking a lot if you're goaltender. So we we've got to be better there and help them out. But if it changes, Over the past, past couple of years, you guys have sometimes played to the level of your opponents rather than establish yourselves in the game. How important is it? This year, for you guys to sort of, this is this is how you play. This is what being a leaf is. Uh, getting through that every night, rather than playing to the level of whoever it is to play. Yeah, it's, it's really important. We've, we've talked a lot about it. That's a big part of why, you know, the disappointment, you know, was there last night and uh, the expectations are higher for our team in that regard. You want to show growth in that area. We weren't able to do it last night. Um, at the same time, let's, let's, I mean, let's give Montreal, you know, respect and uh, props for how they played. I mean, they, they played fast. Their best players made plays when we gave them opportunities to. Their goaltender was solid. Um, you know, they did the things that they had to do to win. And, you know, we didn't counter it. We didn't stress them nearly enough. We weren't able to assert ourselves in the game the way that we would like to and the way we have the ability to. That's what we need to do no matter who we're playing 
you know, no matter you know how you would interpret uh, who the opponent is or what they're capable of, we need to be able to assert ourselves. We're, we're that caliber of a team, and we didn't do it last night. Did you play fast enough? I, I thought at times we played we played fast for sure. Um, I, I thought though, listen, a lot a lot of the issues for our game last night they're not effort related. They're it's a, it's an execution thing, and they come from they come from a good place. It's all well intentioned. It's all guys trying to make something happen. Um, our, our play selection and our, our management of the puck was not not to the level that can allow you a chance to win. So that's that's really what it comes down to uh, for me yesterday. It wasn't so much a playing fast uh, type of thing. There was certainly a few instances of that, and we spoke of, of that this morning. But uh, it was more just forcing the issue at times when that was not the appropriate play. Like I said it's all well-intentioned guys trying to make something happen for us. Uh, we just have to. You know, we have to be better in that regard. And uh, we have a mature and experienced team here now. We've been through a lot. So the expectations are high in that regard, whether it's game one of 82 or not. Um, so that's where I'm expecting us to, to be better. You no, know, it's been a busy camp. I'm wondering if you had a chance to touch base with Bodie and Emmer off of being around and being with the team or at least in the city. Yeah, we yeah, have. We've had him around. He's been in some of our meetings. and. And uh, he's around the facility. Uh, it's really, really nice to have him. You know, um, I think obviously coming here, we're, you know, we're wanting him to be a part of things and having some some experiences with our with our team. And uh, you know, we chatted with him with our group briefly just about you know he's uh, <laughs> you talk about competing. I mean, here's a guy that's been through four rounds of chemo to uh, to be here and and uh, still a big smile on his face in the facility every single day and. He's got the ultimate battle ahead of him here, and, and he's right in the, in the thick of it. But he's here, and he's in, enjoying his time here, and we're enjoying having him around. How much did it mean to the team to have John sit up in the opener last night, and how important is it having John you know, fully healthy and firing all cylinders for us this season? Well, it's, it's important. He's a captain. He's a very good player for us. Um, you you want to have all, all hands on deck whenever you can. So, you know, it was important. He didn't have the preseason you'd want him to have to, to lead in to prepare to play a game like last night. But the but, uh, situation is what it is, and he'll be better tonight. Is Rodion on track to play? I believe it was November they set. Uh, is Rodion on track to play somewhere this season? I'm not sure on the status of that. I think, like I said, he's just, from my knowledge, of it, just, just finished his fourth round of chemo not too long ago. And... Um, spirits are up, but obviously he's got a big fight ahead of him here. He's right, right in the thick of where we're here. He's working, working, uh, you know, with our training staff and, and in the gym, and um, hasn't been on the ice here yet with us. But uh, like I said, it's just about having him around and and uh, experiencing what it's like here in the NHL. It's a very small part of the pregame plan for you. Glad your assistants and all your video guys and equipment guys get their five seconds of fame when they introduce. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice thing for sure. You know, we get a lot of people that that work behind the scenes that that uh, really help you know things move here for us. So anytime you can get give them acknowledgement or give them time to, to be out front to I guess some some of them I mean our video coaches as an example, I mean they, they don't even get out to, to see the game uh, live. They're they're back in the in the, the offices and, and don't get to experience the, the crowd and things like that. So anytime you can involve people like that, I think it's, it's a great thing and a good opportunity for our fans to acknowledge their contributions.